Good morning, folks. Yesterday's earthquake warning hit at high magnitude and unusual locations. The weather news is colder than the October U.S. climate report. We've got top science news and more, but we're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Large coronal hole turning through center longitudes, incoming active region, utterly failing to develop or even maintain its umbral fields. No flares or CMEs. Just a bit of dancing the night away for the filaments, but that is nothing new. The solar wind is relatively calm this morning after only a modest perturbation yesterday. Geomagnetic conditions are settling into quiet range as well. Of course, intensified solar wind is on its way from this coronal hole, only 24 to 36 hours until a geomagnetic storm watch when it arrives. But yesterday, we heard its lithospheric alert was rising already. 6.8 way north in the Atlantic, technically up into the Arctic Circle. It was one of the largest earthquakes ever reported in the region. These are the other record quakes in history for the area. Also had a 5.2 in southwest Australia. Not a record, but not exactly your daily tremor down under either. Need to come back to the U.S. because the jet stream is taking a plunge. Temperatures are already dropping across the majority of the country, with freezing temperatures driving straight through Texas and down into Mexico in the coming days. This cold and snow event is going to last for a while. Meanwhile, here's the scene in Saudi Arabia. The storms didn't just hit the cities, but blanketed the desert in white. Hailstorm may end up going down in Middle East history for the swipe it took across the eastern world. Up next, Plasma Universe. Princeton and NASA have already jumped on board, and today we see it solve one of the great universal mysteries. You see, there needs to have been about a trillion times amplification of cosmic seed magnetic fields in order to witness the power of them that we see across the universe today. And they say that the mirror and fire hose instabilities of turbulent plasma could literally account for all of it. This has been a strong contention as the tiny bits of normal matter plasma were never believed to be able to do it, but alas, they can't. Want to quickly mention a great work detailing 1859 accounts of sky phenomena and tracking the Carrington event Aurora down to the 30th latitude. If we ever do get one of those major solar storms, in addition to me screaming at you through these videos and the app, the majority of the world will have a chance to see the heavens warning light up the skies. We are going next to the wild duck cluster, known as M11, and it was part of a study to learn more about the evolution of stars. It turns out that stars might be a bit clicky. The stars in the wild duck are all from the same generation, and with the pattern white inner and colored outer region, one cannot help but ask what sort of nebula or cloud flash created this entire scene in just the snap of a fingers in cosmic time. Folks, while we've got mysteries and unanswered questions, for website members, you've got a new deeper look out this week. Oh, moi, moi, can't believe I'm going to say this really does break all physics, and it might just be artificial. Harvard's words, and I find no reason to disagree. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.